Hey guys, this is Dr. Mobin. Uh, we are doing immunology questions. Today we will be doing question number six. The question number six is very simple, very decent question. The question is, you receive a patient from tropical countries. Tropical countries are the countries which, do you know which countries? Tropical countries are, so if here is earth, here is pole, here are the second pole. If you go to the center, central line, equator of the earth, which is the central line between the two poles and the countries which are present near and on this equator. These are called the tropical countries. So what are the tropical countries? The Caribbean islands, South Americas, um, Southeast Asia, part of uh, Middle East and so on. So these are tropical countries. So choose a country. A patient comes from a tropical country. He is diagnosed, diagnosed with schistosomiasis. It's a, it's a uh, parasitic infection. And when done the lab tests, you see that eosinophil count is raised. The question is, why is the eosinophil count raised? What is the function of the eosinophil? So is the eosinophil going to be, number one, causing chemotaxis? Taxes. Number two, do they do um, antigen presentation? Number three, do they do um, antigen dependent dependent cellular cellular cytotoxicity? I'm going to keep going and tilting, and so on. So, what are, what is the function which eosinophil would be performing? So again, this is, uh, as I said, this is a very cute question. I've covered that in our immunology lectures in the function of the eosinophils. So I hope that you understand eosinophil when we did, I said that if there is a big parasite and here is a tiny little eosinophil. So I hope you can see these little teeny eosinophils. For them, this is a giant. How do, the, how do these eosinophils going to kill that giant? By giving it one cut a day. What does that mean? They would attack this giant and kill it but how would they do that? So this is how it happens. So let's say this is the parasite sitting in the blood system or somewhere in the tissue. The immunoglobulin E, immunoglobulin E will come and attach to the parasite. So immunoglobulin is coming from the B cell. So the whole cycle of B cell activation has happened. What is that? The antigen from the surface would cause the antigen processing cell to pick those antigens up then antigen processing cell would release interleukin 12, they would release interleukin 4, interleukin 4 would suppress interleukin 10, so T helper side 1 will not be activated, T helper 0 would become T helper 2, T helper 2 will then release interleukin 4 which would cause B cell activation, B cell would then plus interleukin 5. So the activation and differentiation and growth of the B cells would finally cause IgE um, release. That IgE is attached to the uh, schistosoma or this parasite. Now what happens is the neutrophils, the, sorry, the eosinophils, eosinophils have gotten the receptors for the FC portion of the IgE. So here is an eosinophil. Remember we made it like this. It's an eosinophil. The eosinophil would go and bind. So I'm going to use a different color. It's going to bind here to the IgE. Once it binds, it would spill substance, C reactive protein, or so where is it? It would spill C reactive protein. That protein is toxic to the parasite, it would break the cellular walls of the parasite or cell membranes of the parasite and that is how the parasite would become injured and eventually die. So that is the function of the eosinophil, one function. The other function of the eosinophil, I hope you remember, is that they contain histaminase, histaminase and that histaminase actually reduces the histamine which is given out in the type 1 reactions. So eosinophil to some extent actually control the type 1 allergic reactions by reducing it by which mechanism? By releasing the histaminase. So two primary reactions now. Number one, taking care of the 
parasitic infections and number two taking care of the type one hyper or type one hypersensitivity reaction. So if we come back here, what is the function of the eosinophil? Is it chemotaxis? Yes, they are chemotactic, but that is not really their primary function. Is this antigen presentation that is the the processing of the foreign proteins and presenting them on the surface. Yes, they can do that, but again, that is not their primary function. That is not their major function. Antigen dependent cell, cellular cytotoxicity. So, yes, this mechanism here is called ADCC, antigen dependent cellular cytotoxicity. This is a very, very important mechanism, and please do not forget that. There could be other options here in the cell as in the question as well, but this is the primary um, answer. Thank you very much.